Hi guys, today's topic is modulation and what kind of modulation techniques you can use in 4G LTE networks. If you do a Google search and look for the kind of modulation techniques used in 4G LTE networks, you're likely to come across something called OFDM or OFDMA. So OFDM stands for Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing and OFDMA stands for Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access. Now, if you are someone who works in the telecom industry, you may be surprised to see that because uh, modulation is very different from multiplexing or multiple access. So multiplexing and multiple access are at least somehow similar, but modulation is a completely different technology. So it's quite surprising that you come across something like this on the internet. So if you're wondering about these questions as well, then stay tuned and we will cover all of these questions in this video. Okay, first let's refresh the memory a little bit. So modulation is the process of encoding the information signal, data, with the carrier signal to transmit the data securely, efficiently, and effectively without interference. It involves making changes to the carrier signal's characteristics such as amplitude, frequency, and phase in line with the information signal or data. So modulation basically means modifying a signal. So the modification is done so that the data that we want to send, for example, your voice call or WhatsApp message, etc., can be converted into a strong enough signal to be transmitted securely and in a way that fits the available network capacity. Modulation can be analog or digital. Analog modulation is used for radio communication between the base station, so cell tower, and your mobile phone. When mobile operators talk about their spectrum or frequency spectrum, they are talking about the carrier signal. Carrier signal operates at specific frequencies for which mobile operators have to buy licenses. The carrier signal is basically the frequency spectrum. So for example, if your mobile operator uses the 3.4 uh, to 3.8 GHz frequency band, then the carrier signals will be within this frequency range. The information signal is the actual data. For example, when you make a phone call, your voice and all the words that you're saying constitute the information signal. The information signal is also called the baseband signal or modulating signal. OFDMA stands for Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access and it's a multiple access technique used by 4G LTE networks as well as 5G NR networks. The modulation techniques used in 4G LTE networks are QPSK and QAM. QPSK stands for Quadrature Phase Shift Keying and QAM stands for Quadrature Amplitude Modulation. So it's a really good question as to why on the internet, when you search for modulation techniques in LTE, you find OFDM or OFDMA. So what happens in OFDM and OFDMA is that you have a bandwidth, let's say 20 megahertz, and then it's chopped down into smaller chunks or subcarriers. And then all of these individual subcarriers are modulated individually using digital schemes, digital modulation schemes like QAM and QPSK. So since OFDM, supports all of these subcarriers or multi-carriers to be modulated individually. That's why OFDM is also referred to as multi-carrier modulation scheme. So basically the scheme, the modulation scheme, however, is still QAM and QPSK, but since OFDM is the framework that allows that to happen, OFDM is therefore referred to as multi-carrier modulation. Four G LTE networks can deliver peak data rates of up to three Gbps with LTE Advanced Pro, which requires them to use the radio network resources very efficiently. If they don't use the resources efficiently, they will be unable to deliver high-speed data without consuming additional bandwidth. Therefore, LTE networks use OFDM, which has a very high spectral efficiency. In simple terms, that just means that OFDM can make the most of the available bandwidth and as a result offer higher data rates. However, doing that requires a highly efficient modulation technique and that is where QAM and QPSK come in. 
So technically speaking, what these modulation schemes do is that they generate a higher number of bits per symbol. We will talk about these symbols shortly so you understand what the symbol means in modulation and what does it have to do with data rates or bit rates. But first, let's talk about the bigger topic OFDM. Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing, or OFDM, is the basic transmission scheme in 4G LTE networks. OFDM is also referred to as multi-carrier modulation scheme. There are two critical steps involved in the operation of OFDM. So one, the overall available carrier bandwidth, for example, 20 megahertz, is divided into smaller 15 kilohertz subcarriers. And then two, a digital modulation technique is applied to each subcarrier individually. At this stage, all the work is being done on digitally coded baseband signal, which is the signal that carries the actual information. For clarity, at this stage, the carrier frequency that mobile operators use as a part of their frequency spectrum, for example, 3.4 gigahertz, has no role to play. The radio frequency only becomes relevant when the information signal is ready for transmission. Even though there are many digital modulation techniques such as amplitude shift keying, ASK, frequency shift keying, FSK, and phase shift keying, PSK, the ones that are relevant for LTE are quadrature phase shift keying, QPSK, and quadrature amplitude modulation, QAM. Quadrature amplitude modulation, QAM, is a combination of amplitude and phase modulation of the carrier signal. It's a modern digital modulation technique used in 4G, 5G, and even Wi-Fi 6 networks. 4G LTE adopted QAM because it is efficient and it delivers higher data rates in the available spectrum. For technical accuracy, it is worth mentioning that the QAM technique can also be used for analog modulation but in this context, the modulation is digital. There are various modulation orders in QAM, and the higher the order, the higher the efficiency, that is, the signal can carry more data. Since QAM is a combination of amplitude and phase modulation, Every interval in QAM is a unique combination of phase and amplitude known as a symbol. So this is what the symbol is that we were talking about earlier. The modulation order is represented in the multiples of two. For example, a modulation order of 16 in 16 QAM suggests two times two times two times two bits in total. That basically means two raised to the power of four which means four bits in each symbol. Now, if you move on to the next level, so 64 QAM, that means two raised to the power of six, which means six bits per symbol. And as you can see, as we move up the order, 64 QAM is giving you six bits per symbol compared to four bits per symbol in 16 QAM, which means 64 QAM is more efficient than 16 QAM. Now, if you move up even further and look at 256 QAM, there we have 2 raised to the power of 8, which basically means 8 bits per symbol. So this one is even more efficient compared to 64 QAM, and that's why this one is used in LTE Advanced and LTE Advanced Pro. Thanks for watching the video guys. I've written a very comprehensive post on this topic. Have a look at the link in the description below.